It's our recording. So the first thing we are talking about is um, I want to first review few coins that was sent um to the group. I think the first. Uh, let me share my screen. I've not shared my screen. Please, if you are seeing my screen, type one in the chat, please. If you are seeing my screen in the chat. If you are seeing my screen, please type one in the chat. If you are seeing my screen and you are hearing my voice so that I will not be talking and I wouldn't know that I'm not, I'm not following me. Okay, thank you, Samadaya. So the first thing we are talking about is um, I want to first talk about the signal that was sent in the group. I think the first signal that was sent in the group uh, is, um, let me see, it was KSM. I think it was KSM, and KSM was uh, 19.77. So let's go to the chart very fast. We can see that currently Bitcoin is already pumping. That's why some of those, most of the coins are green now. So let me check KSM. KSM. You can see most of the coins are really pumping now. Most of the coins are pumping. Let me check KSM. I don't know why this inch is just coming down. KSM, okay, okay. KSM. KSM. What day was that? I think that was um, Thursday. It was on Thursday that the signal was sent. So let me check. Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, okay. It was here, that big long candle. That was when, yeah, that was when it was sent and this is the green candle, so it's, it's coming up gradually. It's coming up gradually at the one day and we started with um 19.77. 19.77. Let me go for the four hour charts. The four hour charts. The four hour charts. Thursday was um, let me check the date. Thursday was um that was on 24th. That was on the 24th. So let me just do my drawing. Vertical line was on 24th. 24th. When? It's in the afternoon. Okay, it was in the afternoon. Okay. So I think I'm correct. That's the candle. So that's where it started. And uh, at least that's been doing some good, good movements. If you check, if the person enter this candle, if anybody enters into this um, uh, coin, you can see it, uh, the movement is okay. The movement is okay. It came down, but it went up here and it started coming up here. It came down, started coming up here. At least anybody that entered this coin, We'll still be making some money as the coin is going to the deep. So let me check. Um, we'll enter at 19.77. 19.77. Okay, this is around the price we entered. Oh, 19, no, sorry. This 19.77. But that's the place that it was he, the coin was entered. So the coin is already showing green sign here. Yeah, it has a green candle here that's already coming up. So we need it to go up for 
they end to close in profit. So let me check the next uh, coin. I think the next coin is um, Acro. Acro is a coin that has been doing a lot of pumping. And I only give this Acro, and I told us that we should take 5% from this coin. 5% and the coin delivered. Acro has been mostly in most of the in most of the uh, Royal Q group, you can see Acro is already doing 11%. Acro is doing so well. Acro is doing so well. Acro is doing so well. If you enter into that coin, a lot of Royal Q community has been making, I've seen the big candle that is doing. Is Acro is just doing so well. As when I posted that coin, on um, Tuesday, okay, it was on Tuesday I first posted the coin. So if I go back, I think I posted the coin on um, Tuesday. Let me look at Tuesday. Since that time, the coin has been going up. Tuesday was um 22nd. Tuesday was 22nd. Let me check the dates. 22nd, you can see the coin has been climbing since that time. No, that's July. No, that's July. The coin has been, okay, August, August 22. Okay, this Friday for, no, 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 no. It's A. Okay, this is it. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Is when I gave the signal for that coin. And the coin from that day, I think the coin did 24%. After it did 5%, it did another massive 24%. You can see even 30% since that time. And a lot of people have been making money from that coin. So that coin delivered. And the next coin that was sent was um inch, inch, and inch. Is um is not is going down now. My more cheaper is going down. The moment it gets to this place, the moment it gets to this point, it will reverse up and it will deliver. So I want us to have an approach to Royal Q that Royal Q does two things for us. Our expectation is that we want to bought to be doing buying and selling for us and giving us daily profits. That's our, our expectation. But Royal Q also does uh, helping us to accumulate coins cheaper. Helping us to accumulate coins cheaper when it's going down. And let me just show us an example. I think I, I marked it in the group here. Now look at this coin. Look at this, this same acro. The person entered this acro when acro. I want to show something you now. When acro, the average price of acro, this is the price the person entered acro. When acro crashed to 0 0.00419, that was the time the person entered this and it took $288. Are you seeing it? $288. And the person has, must have been in this coin for a very long time. I can prove it to us. This person entered this coin when the coin was 0 0.00419. Let's go to the chat. You see what I mean? Because crypto sometimes is patience. It requires a lot of patience sometimes. Because the coin that you think is so quiet, is so down now, when the coin will just move up, let me check the chart, 0 0.00419. You see that the person must have been in acro for a very long time at that price, zero, but you can see. When Acro was um zero point, so you don't know the person's story. When the person entered that coin, the person entered the coin when the coin was, I will show us, 0 0.0049. See when the person entered the coin. I want us to be following me. The person entered the coin, around here you can see when the, that was um on 27th of july 
around 27th of July when the coin was um coming. No, I'm coming. Uh, when the coin was um 27th, let me do horizontal line. When the coin was 0 0.0419. 419, 419, that is 419. Can see? It was around, um, let me check, around, um, it should be around um, 24th of July, and we are in August, 27 that's a whole month now one, some people that enter into crypto some people that love entering crypto and doing analysis for like a month they can do analysis for they can do analysis of a coin and can wait for one month for two months and when the coin will come back it will bring so much because the longer the coin stay in the market is much more profit you make than daily weekly profit. You can see here. Sorry about that. You can see here that this person has been in this trade for over a month. Over a month. And after that, a month, the coin has done 202%. If I go and make sure it to correlate to what we are seeing here. The coin has done this is the meaning. It did 202% of 288 and it gave him $585. I seen it. $585 floating profit. So, because of my experience in interpreting all these things, I can be able to tell you what happened here. The person was there for over a month to make $585. On that two hundred eighty-eight dollar, the real queue has helped him to. That means the person deliberately knew, forecasted, and projected that he want this coin to do this kind of profits. At this point in time, the person can sell in profits. That means the person waited for long to be able to make this kind of profit. So I know some of us might be, uh, when I might, when I might not be excited when our trade is not doing well, but have an approach of long term in your trading too. Have an approach of long term on your trading. I have to do that to us that so that we, I want to encourage us that um, coins can do well, no matter how long. If you see that a coin is not doing well, very well, then the essence of uh, using rare Q is increasing the margin calls. I can show us how to do that. That's why you have to do serious money management when you are doing when you are doing royal queue you don't put all your coins in different coins it's not necessary to do that now let me go to the next uh point now, let me just talk about how to identify a strong buy i was supposed to write a strong buy in a coin how to identify a strong buy in, in a coin i was doing research recently on um, YouTube, and I wanted to know how one can identify a coin before it pumps. How can one identify a coin before it? When I did all my research, and I discovered that it still boils down to learning how to use those indicators on Trading View. It still boils down in learning how to use the indicator in Trading View. So one of the indicator that I use a lot is this stock RSI that we are seeing here. So I'll be doing a brief training on that this evening. So I, I will need somebody uh, that is with us this evening that has um, trading view set up on his phone. Do I have anybody that already has uh, trading view? I can see Mr. Joseph, I welcome you this evening. I don't want this training to be too long so that the videos will not be too long for people to watch. Is anybody here that can that already have trading views set up on your phone? I want you to share your screen. Is anybody here that you have your trading view set up? 
you can unmute. Is there anybody? Yes, sir. I have set up. Okay, so I want to. I want, okay, Mr. Phillips, do you want to do so, Mr. Philip? No, no, no. I don't have. I don't. I don't have this setup on my phone. Okay, I want somebody, Mr. Madaya. Okay, you can. Uh, I will make you an host now. You can. You can mute yourself. Um, let me mute. Oh, Mr. Madaya. So let me make you an host. So that you share your screen, I will guide you on how to set it up, and I will tell you how to use it. Okay. Let's learn how to even do co-host. Now you can share your screen, then go to your trading view. Yes. So RSI is one of the important tools that we use to analyze when to enter coin to identify strong buy, strong sell before you enter any coin. So share your screen. Go to your trading view. Yeah, this is my trading view. Now pick any coin you want to analyze. Just pick any coin randomly. Pick any, pick any coin randomly. Yeah. Now inside this coin now, I want you to click that plus sign. Plus sign. Okay. Go back, go back, go back to the coin. Are you seeing that plus sign? Click on indicators. Click okay. on indicators. Okay, wait. Search for, I'm coming. Please wait for me. Search for, uh, start, start, search for stochastic RSI. Type S-T-O-C-H. Stochastic, no, S-T. No, go back. S T. Yes, C. S. No, remove that C O. Stochastic has T O. And that's it. The second one. Tap the second one. Favorite it. The second one. Okay. Try and favorite it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tap it so that you can import it to your to the just tap it once. Tap it once. Okay, yeah, go back. No, that you have yes. to tap it once. Yeah, yeah, let it tap, tap it. Go back, go back, go back. Cancel it. Cancel that place. Remove this. Remove this. Because if you tap it too much, it might have shown on your on that point three times. Go back. Go back. Go back. Uh -huh. So you can see that you have tapped it three times. Oh. That's why. It's <laughs> Uh, how to remove this? Uh, I will show you how to remove it because you can. When you are using Trading View, you can use more than three indicators on a coin for on a chart. You can use more than three. The moment you are using more than three, you have to upgrade. So what you will do is that put your end on the where the road stock RSI. Tap your put your finger on it. It will show you some hair. Yeah. Click that cancel sign here. Go to the next one. Remove this, please. Go back. Go back to LTC again. You are, you are, the chat is on LTC. Click LTC. Open chat. Go remove one again. Remove it. Cancel. Yes. Yes, now, yes. The next thing we need to do is that we need to do a settings on this. So tap stock RSI. That word is that word. Tap it again. Now you see a certain icon in the middle. Go to settings yes. down. The certain icon in the middle. Okay, wait there, wait there. So now these uh information you need to let me show, let me go back to confirm what and what you need to put there. Coming. Um so on the inputs, on the inputs, the K change it to four. K, change it to four. Then D, change it to two. Then the RSI length, change it to nine. The stochastic length, change it to nine. 
then the RSI souls, leave it as it is. Then uh, you will see time frame. What is it showing? Scroll up, scroll up. Time frame, chart, Abby. leave it like that, leave it like that. Leave it like that. Then at the top, you will see uh, style. So at the top, you see style. So the K, you are seeing a blue color. And immediately beside that blue square, that square, I could have a line. Tap that line to thicken it. Change it to the thickness of the second one down. The second thickness. Where the root thickness? No, no, no. Don't change the color. Wait. Don't change. I didn't say you change the color. The thickness. You see thickness down. You see. Pick the second. Yeah, yeah, thickness. yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Click OK. Click OK. That color you pick is too faint. Go back. Go back. Click that setting again. That color you pick is too faint. Pick another color. Tap that, pick another color that is brighter. I think um, in K, I use, um, I use blue. You can use yeah. any color you want. Just pick another color that is brighter. Okay, that one is okay. It's okay. Then the D, the D also go to the second one. D, increase the thickness. Then uh, the upper band. The upper band increase the thickness too. You will see the remove this place. No, no, that one is too, it's too thick. Use the second thickness. Uh, it's okay. Click okay. 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 Click okay. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Yeah. Then the upper band give it another color. Give the upper band a separate color entirely. Then the middle band, go back, go back. Showing, um, you know, that upper band, you see one line, like um line that is dash. Click it and change it. Click that dash line. In that upper band section, in front of the 80. This one? No, 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 upper band, upper band. Where you are seeing the, 80, 80. Uh -huh. change 80, it to, yeah. change, change, change that 80 to 90. Change to 90. Okay. Then in front of it, there's a dash line. Click that dash line. Uh -huh. Change it to uh dotted line. No, change it to that line. That line in color. Pick that color line. That colored line in front of it, click it. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyways, okay, like that. Go to the second one, the middle band, change the color, increase the thickness, and change the 50 to uh, leave it at 50. It's okay. Leave it at 50. It's okay. But change the color, the color of that middle band, change the color. Another color entirely. So or any other color. They increase the thickness. Right? Save it. After you pick yeah. the black one, okay, that's okay. Then save it. Click OK. And the lower band, that 20, go back, go back, go back. The lower band, change that 20 to 10. Change that 20 to 10. Then change that color. Change that color. Change that color entirely. Maybe purple, any other color. Later, you can go there and be changing it. Okay. Okay, leave the background like that. We're not done. We're not done. That D, only at the top, you see KD. Uncheck, remove the mark in front of that D. This one? Yes, that D. No, D, D, D. I know K, D. Yeah, K, D. 
Okay. Uh, you see, no, 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 no. Mark K, mark K, okay. Now click OK to save it. Okay, let's go back. Huh? Go back, go, go to vis visibility. Visibility up. Wait, wait, let me confirm. Visibility, one second, 59. Okay, okay it's okay, it's okay like that. But that your style, we need to do something about your style. Go back to that style. Go back to that style. I will check D. Remove the, the mark in front of D. Remove the mark. We oh, yeah, are save it now. Save it now. I don't like that dotted line. Anyway, I manage for now. Now try and uh, widen. I want to explain something to you now. Later, I can be changing all this. Thing. The stochastic indicator. You can see that is is uh, too close to each other. Put your finger to to widen it. Where? On the on the stock RSI indicator, put your end yeah. on the on the, to widen it. You are not getting it. No, I didn't okay. get it. And hey, don't worry. From here, let me take it off from here. Let me use my own screen to explain how the stock RSI works. So you have yes, done well. You have done well. You have done well. So just make me. In the host again, I'll take it off from there to explain what yes, sure. stock RSI does and make me a host again. So I will explain what stock RSI does. Make me a host. You have done well. You have done well. So let me just um share my screen. Let me share my screen. I hope you are seeing my screen now. Yes, yes, we can. So let me just move to you. I want to explain what the stock RSI does. How we use it for analysis. I'm coming. Okay, let me go to my trading view. Now, let me consider that. Let me remove most of all these charts that I have. Let me remove all my charts. I want it to be clear. Let me remove everything so that it's not be too clumsy. You no, know, I love drawing lines. I love doing analysis. So just pardon me. It took me years, months for me to be able to learn all these things. But slowly we'll get it. Let me remove all these things. I can, most of us, our own chart will be like this. Our chart will be like now. Let's say now when you want to use indi indicators to study uh, the movement, the downtrend, the upward trend, when to enter, when to exit. You don't use only one indicator. You can see that I use about three indicators before I I give us signals. And all those indicators are tools. They don't give us 100% uh, uh, um, accuracy, but it guides us. It helps us to make decision of when to enter a coin and when to exit. So, so we don't trade blindly. If there's a fundamental news in the market, maybe there's a news that something is happening, you can see that immediately it will go against your fundamental, it will go against your technical analysis. If there's a news in the market, that's why you have done your analysis technically. You've checked the chart. You've seen when to enter. You've done all your drawings. You've checked everything that is okay. If there's a news in the market, it can go against your analysis. So that's why you see sometimes we will say this coin will go up. You're not beginning to go down when there is too much selling in the market. So when you want to start, you click the plus and down. I pick the indicator, which is the stock RSI. So I want to explain what it means. Now, the RSI has um, uh, three, three, it has three lines. The three lines here means the up line here means 
the oversold region. That's the meaning. Is the oversold region, and um, the green uh, line here is the overbought region. That's the meaning of those two lines. So I will explain. It means uh, I'm coming. No, 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 no. I'm making a mistake. I'm coming. Let me be very sure what I'm saying. Me myself, that I'm even teaching, I'm confusing myself. You can see here that this coin is um okay. Sorry, the up line is the overbought region. Sorry, let me correct myself. This place here is the overbought, overbought region. Here, the line up here is the overbought region, and the one here is the oversell region. So let me explain the meaning of that. The meaning of that is that when we we use this graph, this graph you are seeing that is going up and down like this. This graph here that is going up, going up, it has a meaning. It means that anytime this graph gets to this I this point, it means the coin is already at the overbought. That means the market, these buyers are bought and bought and bought. The time for it to come down has come. That is the meaning. That any time, let me show some examples of some um, charts that will explain that. Let me do for lower time frame. And uh -huh. this, is, this is a very, very good example. You will see here that the only way you can be able to understand is if I draw a vertical line. If I draw a vertical line, I'm coming. If I draw a vertical line, it will it will help us. Let me draw a vertical line. Here, the vertical line. You can see this vertical line here. Let me draw it. Mm -hmm. You can see that. Uh, no, not this place. You can see that this green candle here. This green candle here. If I draw it down. You can see that candle. The moment the candle became fed up, it showed that it has reached the overbought region. That's why immediately a red candle started showing. So anytime you want to enter a trade, and you see that this graph is up like this, and it started curve, curving down, curving down, it means that coin is about to come down. That's why you are seeing that immediately after this green candle, this green candle shows that the buyers have taken over the market. That's why the coin moved from here down here. It started pumping up. That means here from you can see that the graph is moving up. It's moving up. That means it follows the same movement of the candle. The same chart. It shows that from down that the buyers were taking over, taking over. That's why. When the candles, green candles are going up, the chart, this graph will also be going up. And the moment you see that this graph gets to this region, which is what we call the overbought region, the next thing is for the coins to start coming down. That's why immediately after this green candle, you saw a, a red candle showing here immediately. That's why the coins started coming down because it was the price was resisted here. Then the seller took over. They want to take profit. Then they push the value of the coin down. That's why you see that the graph here is pointed downwards. So it might you can see another green candle is forming. It's not, it's, it's still going to come down. So that's why this coin is going to come down back here. It can still come down maybe to this level. That's why you see anytime you, you are trading a coin, you see the coin pumping is coming down, it's coming, it's coming down. Is the activities of the trader that is doing that? So this place is the overbought region. Now let me show us the oversold region. That the overbought region is a region when to leave the market, to leave the coin, to leave the trade. That this coin has already done to this maximum. It's coming down. So leave the coin before the coin dumps on you. So that's the place to take your profits and come out. But if you want to enter a coin, how do you enter using this indicator? You enter from the base here. 
you enter from the base here because this base here, this line here is the oversold region. That means the moment you see this graph is below and it's trying to curve up, that is a sign for me to enter this coin. So let me draw it. Do a, a line to show. So if I draw a line, a vertical line from here, that red can do. Can I see the red can do? That red can do. From that red can do. You can see if you if I come down, so that the moment the graph, those are two indicators, two signs that this is an entry point for me. That this red can do is showing that the sellers are have already oversold. So when the how and how will I know that the sellers in this candle have already oversold by coming to the RSIA? This stock RSIA. The moment the graph is down, then it's a good sign for me to enter the market because I know the coin can go up. Sometimes if the coin goes up, it can still be flowing up like this. Sometimes they will start coming down. It behaves sometimes like that. So that's how you use the stock RSI to do what? To enter and to exit from any coin. So the moment I see that this, this graph is coming up, the moment it reaches this middle, sometimes I don't like entering. I always want it to come like this, in between here, between zero and 20, or less than 40, that if it's showing up like this, it's a good sign for me to enter. So that's a, an indicator that we use to do analysis, when to enter a, a coin, and when to exit a coin. So if you understood my analysis and explanation on stock RSI, please type one in the chat. You don't need to know everything. You can go back to go and watch the video because I'm going to record it. If you understood how to use stock RSI, please type one in the chat. If you don't type one in the chat, it means you didn't understand what I was explaining. If you didn't type one in the chat, because typing one, that's what I, most of the people that I learned from, the top leader from Uganda, he will always say that if you understood what was just explained, type one in the chat. And anytime I type, I understand anything that I learned and I type, it sticks to my mind. It sticks into my mindset. And anytime I want to practice it again, I understand it. So the moment you are typing one, it shows that you'll be making more profit in real key. 10%, 20% is going to be your portion. So you can still go back to the video, the recorded video, because you cannot understand it immediately. It will take time. To, for me, it took time with, with uh, much more practice before I could understand how the stock RSI works. So you can't use only that tool. It's just one of the tools that we used to do analysis. So do you have sir, any question? Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt. So I wanted to uh, practice just uh, just to predict uh, with your presence just for two minutes. Can I go ahead? You want to present? That. You want to present? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's cleared everything for me. I wanted to practice with your presence just two minutes. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Let me allow you to do that. So let me make you an, an host. I love your pattern. Let me make yeah. you an host. Then go to your trading view and share your screen. Let me allow you to do that. I love that. Yes, sir. So pick so, a coin. Yeah, I just picked uh, one random normal. Yeah. Normally, I just Googled it one time. Uh, let's say DYDX. Okay, DYDX. Uh, Try and widen those graphs on Stack RSI. It's two packed together. Try and widen it. Put your finger as widen it. Okay. It's too close. The way yeah, I yes. touched the graph, the the chart, it took me time to understand all those things. So how to use like hey, hey. yes, widen it, widen it. Try and widen it. It's too close. Hey, it's okay like that. And those chart at the top is too tiny. Try and widen it too. All those things is by hand. It's okay like that. It's too wide. It's too wide. Bring it close back a little bit. Close back. 
being close by. It's all this thing you can only learn it by practice. Before I could be able to learn how to even draw vertical line, horizontal line, price range, it was by practicing. A business, so, uh -huh, it's, okay, it's okay like that. It's okay like that. Leave it like that. It's okay. Now, teach us now what you understood from what I just explained. Now, see, it is not at uh, uh, over bot, right? Still, it is going to pump. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. It's going to pump. Why did you say so, it's going to pump? What did you see? Because this line, it is not at touch this one. Blue line. Okay. It is not it's uh, touch to pump. Up. Yeah, still it's going to pump up. Pump. Am I right? I want to ask you a question. With this yeah, sign, that yeah. point is it going to pump? Will you enter this point, yes or no? And why do you want to enter the coin if it's still pumping? Yeah, if I will not enter usually because uh, whenever it is uh, it is uh, pumping, you know, I will not get uh, more coins. But quantity of coins I will get very uh, uh, will not get a cheaper price. So when okay. coin was uh, you know the pumping stage is very low, that time I can enter. Maybe the moment when it is going to start pumping, I can enter the trade. Maybe. Uh, in short positions, uh, I can, uh, uh, I mean, in future trade, we can enter it, but in spot trade, so whenever it is uh, pumping already, so there is no use to uh, uh, enter into this kind because yes, it's already, agree. it is almost going to pump. I mean, it may, it may come down. Uh -huh, so we will not yeah. get profit. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's not good to enter any pumping coin because it's very dangerous. Because they don't know there are sellers, they are ready to sell that coin and it will dump on you. You can see that at the top, we can see that the coin is already doing 6% at the top. Where should I see the percentage? At the top, where the roads DYDX okay. up, DYDX. Yeah, slash. yeah, 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 6%. So uh, you can't suppose, enter the coin. Yeah, suppose, uh, how can I say exactly? Uh, um, it may there is a chance to um, dump now itself, right? So let's say it can dump. Here. The coin can dump. It can dump. So don't can enter this kind of coin. Yeah. Okay. And you know, what we do? you know what we do? Go and look for a coin that is down. Maybe it's it's, it's like in red color. Then go and do yeah, red color. color. Okay. Yeah, red color. Go back. Go and search for a coin. So if you want to enter any coin. Always enter a okay. coin that red. Yeah, go out. Okay. Yeah, I will take a X V Z. I will take. Okay. Mm. Um, X V G is not on rare Q. It's not recommended on rare Q. But you can okay. do it if you want to do that. Not all these coins are on rare Q. No, I just for I am just uh, just for uh -huh. learning to, uh, learning and just pick them. Uh -huh. So let's say WLD coin. So this is already overbought, right? What's happening to this coin now? What's happening to this coin? But how we can say it coin? is? Huh? Pardon? What's happening to this coin? What's happening to it now with the SOC RSI charts? It's uh, as per the stock RSA chart, it's overbought and it's uh, pumping down. Yeah, uh, it's, yes. It's, it's dumping. Down. It's yeah, dumping. It's down. So you yes. can't enter this coin. No, don't worry. I will tell us strategies I used to enter coin. Later, I will show you also. So I don't want to rush us. Yeah, yes. yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, thank combine, you I combine two uh, time frame the one day yeah, time, frame, yeah. the four hour time frame. And the uh one hour time frame. That's what I will teach us next week. How I combine those two, those three time frames to determine when to enter the any coin. So let me continue to the next agenda. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, please. Welcome. Now, the next thing I want to tell us about is um uh how to um choose to know more about each coin tools 
Now there's an app. If you go to Play Store, it's called Coin Market Cap. You can download it. If you want to know about a coin when it was founded, on which uh blockchain on its blockchain was it founded? What is the the current price? You want to check the chart history, the founder? You use this app to do your history to learn about that coin. Like Acro, if you want to learn more about Acro, it has been pumping. So if you go to Coin Market Cap, you just download the app. You just go to the up section you are seeing search here. You search for that coin. So anytime somebody tells me a coin, I will just go to the Coin Market Cap. I will search for the coin by name. You can see the name of the this app, the coin, the coin that has been popping recently is Acro Acropolis. So when I click it. I will be able to know much about the coin. If I check up here, hope I'm sharing my screen. Don't think I'm sharing my screen. Oh, sorry, I'm not sharing my screen. Sorry. I'm not sharing. Thank God that I even. So, okay, my screen is being shared now. So, I was talking about. A tool that I can use to research coins, any coins that you are trading. Uh, they told you about this coin. I want to check whether it's on coin market cap. So, like Acro, let me go back to how I got. Uh, if you go to Play Store, the name of the app is called um, Coin Market Cap. Just search for it, type Coin Market Cap. Can see, so just go. I don't want to. I don't want to update it because it's already on my phone. Those are our time. So when you enter into the app, you click this search icon up here to search for any coin that you want to go research about. You type the coin. And if you want to research Acro, stop it. Then you click on it. And you can discover that there are some other Acro coins. That's why you have to be very, very careful. And that's how a lot of people enter into fake coins. But there are several coins that resemble the same coin that you want to uh, to trade. If there's a coin that's about, that was recently launched, if you don't go and do your research on coin market cap, you can mistakenly go and put money in the wrong duplicated coins. And it happens a lot in crypto space. So you have to do your due diligence to do research on those coins. So when you want to research about Acro, you can see the chart history of Acro here. If you go to community up, you will see a lot of things that is being said about Acro. You can see people saying, I'm going to long, I'm going bullish on Acro. Some people will be saying, I'm, I'm, I'm bearish. We see a lot of comments that I can Go and do your analysis. So if you want to know where this coin is being traded, you go to markets. If you go to markets, you see where and where this coin is being traded. So if you click on it, you see all the exchanges where Acro is being traded. It's being traded on Bybit, XC, MXC, Binance, Bbox, Get.io. You see all the exchanges that um, Acro is being traded on. So... If you want to also learn more about the coin, you scroll down. You go down. You'll be able to learn much about the coin. You can see that the coin, the lowest it has done so far in 24 hours. You see it here. It has gone down to 0 0.0110. Now is I now. And this is the total market capitalization of this coin. The meaning of market cap of a coin. That's what gives the value of a coin per each uh, section, per each day. How do you know the market cap of a coin? By knowing the total circulation supply. You can see this is circulation supply of the coin. That is the total unit of the coin in the market is 4.34 billion. So if you want to calculate the value of the market cap, that's the, va the current value of the coin now. Is multiplied, you multiply 4.34 billion by the current price now, by the current price we are seeing here. 
by this current price, it will give you the, the market capitalization of the coin. And you can see that the max supply of the coin is 5 billion. The total supply is 5 billion. And the, the ranking of this coin is 307. Mm. So if you go down more, you'll be able to know more about the coin. What's Acropolis? They will tell you what is being used mm. for. You will see the contract address. If you want to use this contract address, that means you want to buy it on, um, on um, you can buy it on Ethereum chain, on Gnosis chain, on Solara chain. So if you click see all, you'll be able to learn more about uh, the coin. So that's why one of the terms that we use in crypto is that do your own research. You must do your own research. When you know about the coin that you are trading on RealQ, it will give you confidence that what, where is this coin going to? What are the project owners doing about the coin? You can even go to their social media handles. If you go here, if you see here. So it will give you confidence that this coin that I'm trading what is the possibility of the coin going on? What are the developers doing about this coin? If you click that place, you see uh, the sites and you can see that Telegram is here. You can even go to the Telegram, go to the Twitter and do. So, you know, these are the things that you do to understand, to know much about the coin you are trading. I believe we have benefited from that. Now, uh, the next thing I want to talk about is, um, I think I'm already almost done. Okay, let me do a projection of the market in the next one week. And one of the ways you can have a projection of the, of the market, I can see that the coins are already picking up now. What determines the most times, what determines the movement of the market is Bitcoin. So if you see where Bitcoin is heading towards, you will know what you should expect in the next one week. And when I went to go and check Bitcoin, let's go and check Bitcoin. You can see that Bitcoin just did a slight movement. Bitcoin just did a slight movement. Let me show us on four hours. It just did a slight movement. Let me go to one hour chart. This small movement that Bitcoin just did, just this green candle here, that slight movement alone make the market just go green. And you can see the position that, position that it used to move. Now it has started going down in the one hour uh, chart. So if you want to really know where is Bitcoin going, the, anywhere the Bitcoin is trading, if it's going uptrend, you will see that all the coin in the market is going to move up. But currently you can see that just slight movement of Bitcoin, all the coins started going up. Just slight movement. It didn't do more than 1%, less than 1% movement. Let me go out. Just slight movement of, of um, Bitcoin. You can see a little bit, all the coins started going green. Now, if the coin can just move, if Bitcoin can just move from 26,000 to 28,000, 26,000 to 28,000, you will see that most of us that we are in floating loss, our coins is going to begin to give us so much profit. So if you go to one week, I went to go and check the one week and I saw the tendency of what Bitcoin is about to do. You can see in the past one week, in the whole of one week, Bitcoin has gone down. And in the previous one week, Bitcoin has come down from 29,000 down to 26,000. So when you are seeing all your coins in floating loss, this is the cost. This is the cost. It's not Royal Q. It's not Royal Q that made you to be in floating loss. It's the market. Bitcoin crashed from 29,000, suddenly down to 26,000, and it's still going to crash. Because from the stock RSI, yeah, I'm using the one week chart. Are you seeing it? I'm using the one week chart to analyze Bitcoin. Are you seeing it? So it's going to consider the stock RSI is pointing down. So Bitcoin is going to, it can still go down to like 25,000 before it starts going up. So you might see the coin, the market might see go down a little bit. Let's say between now, before the end of this week. This is my own analysis. It's not a financial advice. It's not uh, guaranteed. But I'm just using the analysis I'm seeing here that Bitcoin is still coming down. 
it will still come down a little bit. So the moment it comes down a little bit, the moment it gets this place, to this place, it's coming back up in the next one to two weeks. So all our coins will, by God's grace, begin to come up. If you analyze the price, it came from air to air. If I do the analysis for from my chat here, the vertical line, like people calling on my smartphone. Now, from here, can see Bitcoin came down from 30,000 30, to the current level that we have now. To this current level that we are. No, no, not price range. To this current level that we are. This current level, where is it? Uh, to this level that we are. It came down to this level. All the way from um, EA, it came down here. So the moment it comes here, it came down from this line, stock RSI. When uh, Bitcoin got here at that 30,000, it started coming down. So the moment it gets, to, it can still come down a little bit more, a little bit. It can now reverse. The moment it's reversing, we should expect it should get to like 20 to 29,000. If Bitcoin does that movement in the next one to two weeks, you will see how all your coins will wake up. All your coins that are sleeping will start to wake up. So that's my projection for this week on the market. So uh, I will stop there. So the Royal Q Frame Achievers team uh, challenge is still on. You can see that um, Royal Q is a business, it's a trading platform where your capital is guaranteed. No matter how floating loss that you are, endeavor to open more margin calls. Let me just quickly show us that the moment your coins are gone down, don't trade another coin. Just go to your Royal Q, increase your margin call. How do you increase your margin call? Let me show us that this corner has been traded now. You can see that it has done six margin calls here. It has done six margin calls here. So if you want to take advantage of this coin more, you just do what? You enter the coin. You go to three setting. You can see that the margin call limit of this coin is 13. So the reason why this coin is not trading very well is because this account is only using about one hundred dollars. That's why, as the coin is going up and down, it's on the the, the the person that owns this account is not taking advantage of the movement of the coin going on. But if you want to open more margin calls, you click margin configuration. You scroll down. Before you do that, you go back here. You change like this to like maybe six. Maybe you can add like five more margin calls. Maybe to eighteen. Then you go to margin configuration. Then it will now, you know, it was on 13 before it stopped here. But the moment the coin goes down to this level, it will stop. But if you open more margin calls, the coin will be going up and down again to be making more profit. That's how you open more margin calls to take advantage of uh, the coin when it's going up and down. So let me just change it. So let me stop here this evening. I don't want the Zoom meeting to be too long. So that people that want to watch the recording, can be able to watch the recording. So if you have any question, let us ask our question so that we can call it a day. If you have any question, just raise up your hand. Just raise up your hand if you have any question or contribution. Any question, I've already given us a projection in the next one week, two weeks, we should be expecting the market to move. It will go down a little bit. It might go down a little, it's a little bit, but it will come back up again. So if there's no question, uh, I would love to call it a day so that we can have, continue to enjoy our weekend. And don't hesitate to 
not to tell people about this business. I I aggressively market people, promote this project, this reaction to anybody. Seriously, can if I go to my my broker's list, let me just show us. You can see I have a lot of lists. When I had a uh, lady, Dor uh, lady Doris Angel, that started this same real queue with me, I knew that I have been playing with real queue. She says she has 39,000 39, members in her team. I was like, what? You can see my own list of my follow-up. I have over 153 people that I'm following up on. Because I have confidence in the in real queue. That's why I continue talking about real queue to people consistently. Because I want to build it. It's a business that you can live for your children. As long the crypto market is still existing, Royal Q app will continue to exist. Not all the sponsors came that people put their money and their money disappears. So your money is in your Binance. So you should be able to confidently tell people about Royal Q. So if there's no question, let us call it a day. And I pray that we enjoy our week ahead and happy new month in advance. So goodbye and have a lovely night rest.